Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my March BoxyCharm box here for you today. So what I like to do is go ahead and open up these boxes, try out the goodies inside, so then I can kind of give you like some little mini reviews and first impressions on the products. So that's what I'm gonna do. And FYI, BoxyCharm did send this to me as PR, so thank you so much to BoxyCharm for sending this my way. So yeah, March BoxyCharm, gonna just run through, give you some kind of like quick information on these products and some first impressions and mini reviews. So if you are new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do unboxings, Friday favorites, monthly favorites, new at the drugstore, get ready with news reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about March boxy charms. So let's get to it. Okay. So it says planet woman on the little card. So first thing, I got a skincare item. This is the Dew of the Gods Feels Microdermabrasion Dry Erase Face Scrub. So here is the outside box on it. Here is the scrub itself. You can tell I've opened it. I did try it just a little bit and I'll describe more why. Um, so it retails for $30. It says, there's quite a long explanation, but Tiny delicate silica crystals bind to a rich oat milk base to form the ultimate dry erase. Um, it's basically supposed to get rid of, you know, layers. It's supposed to be a nice facial scrub. Formulated with fatty squalene to protect new skin while the old you washes away. Designed to be applied dry, the tiny magnesium oxide crystals are like no other scrub you've ever experienced. So I really don't use physical exfoliators pretty much ever anymore because I get broken capillaries sometimes like I have some on this cheek I have a lot on my nose and I'm just very careful with physical exfoliators so I tried a little bit of this just kind of right here on my forehead because I do have kind of some texture here and I don't have broken capillaries there um, and I do like it I mean if you're looking for a good scrub this does seem to be um, you know pretty gritty yeah I mean it, it's pretty gritty and seems to do a good job of physically exfoliating. It does have, um, kind of like a, almost like a cologne sort of a scent to it. So that's, you know, that's fine, I guess. And yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a physical exfoliator, this one seems pretty nice. And the area I did use it on, it didn't seem to like dry out my skin or anything like that. So overall, seems like a nice scrub. Another skincare product, this is the First Aid Beauty 2-in-1 Cleansing Oil and Makeup Remover. This retails for $26. It says it's an oil to foam 2-in-1 cleanser that melts makeup and cleanses in a single step, leaving skin supremely clean and makeup free with no oily residue. This sulfate-free hybrid formula starts as a gel oil texture that helps dissolve impurities, sunscreen, and makeup including long wear and waterproof so I have tried this a couple of times and overall I do like it um, it's not the best cleansing oil you know balm it doesn't say balm but kind of product that I've ever tried there's one that I you know like my one that I use the most what I noticed with this one is especially on my eye makeup I use a ton of eye makeup eyeliner, mascara. So I really give cleansing oils and balms a run for their money. And this one did do the job. I just had to do a couple of passes with it, but it did a great job on my face. It didn't seem to irritate my eyes, didn't seem to irritate my face or dry out my face. So I will definitely use this up. I do like it. I think it's a good cleansing product. Now it says cleansing oil and makeup remover. I still went ahead and used my cleanser on top of it. Typically I do that. I do like a, you know, I do like a cleansing oil or balm product and then a cleanser, but this one seems like it's supposed to kind of be both. So I didn't necessarily have to do that, but I did. But yeah, overall seems nice. I really like this. This is the Koa Life. I think it's a Koa Life Niacinamide Booster. It retails for $35. Here is the box. Here is the product. This retails for $35. It says boost your current skincare regime regimen regime with this booster serum add a few pumps into your current skincare to up level your products or on its own niacinamide keeps your skin firm and healthy treats hyperpigmentation helps treat blemishes protects against sun damage and minimizes fine lines and wrinkles juicy skin starts here i didn't realize niacinamide did all those things i thought it was really just more balancing for the skin, but that's exciting to know that it does all these different things. 
I really like this. It has kind of a light texture to it. Now the pump is a little aggressive. That's something I noticed with it. I, like it really just, it's kind of hard to press. And then when you press it, it really like shoots out the product. So be careful with the packaging, but it really feels nice on the skin. Kind of a gel, sort of a light texture to it. Almost silky feeling. Um, I've used this at nighttime. I've used it under my makeup. I have it under my makeup now. And I really like this. It just kind of looks smooth on the skin. Somebody's working on something on the street, so don't mind if you hear background noise. But I really like this skincare product. I have been using niacinamide more in my skincare routine recently, like in the last, I don't know, six months or so. So I will definitely continue using this. Definitely a fan. Then I got a makeup product. This is the Ace Beauté. This is the outside box. It's very reflective. So I'm just gonna try to show it to you like that. Ultimate Sculpt Face Palette retails for $42. It says the Ultimate Sculpt Face Palette has four shades that can be used to highlight, define, and contour and bronze. Each shade can be used as is or layered on top of each other to create a seamless custom look. Let me swatch these real quick. So here is the palette. So these are cream contour products, which I really don't use very often, but I went ahead and tried this out. Here are the swatches. I really like the top two there in the swatches, which are the bottom two in the palette. I like those two because they're a little bit more on the cool tone side. These are quite um, hydrating, I guess is how I would describe them. They're really not that kind of like cream to powder feeling to them. You can see they almost keep like a glossy look. So I think if you have dry skin, you will probably really like this because it really doesn't I mean, it, it sets down and it doesn't feel like tacky on the face or anything. I do have a little bit of this on. I have this shade on. It really does set down pretty well, um, but it just kind of feels different than some other cream contour products that I've tried. So overall, this is not something I'm going to reach for a ton just because I really don't use cream contour a lot. I have more kind of normal combo skin, but still, I think if you have dry skin, you'll really like this. And if you like cream contours, you'll like this. And last up, a lip product. This is from Belle and Argent. Belle and Argent Tinted Lip Balm. And I got the shade at Hello Nude, at Hello Nude. And I have this on right now. Um, it's a pretty color. I would say it's kind of more of a peachy color beautiful packaging. I love this purple, very pretty, purpley metallic packaging. And it is that kind of like balm sort of packaging where it kind of stays down in the packaging a little bit more. So this retails for $18. It says it's a nourishing, lightly tinted balm that moisturizes lips all day and provides gentle color made with jojoba and sunflower oil. Works for all skin types and comfortable enough to wear for all day. Wait, what? Comfortable enough for all day wear. There you go. Okay, so I have this on right now. This is really nice. If you want a tinted balm that is hydrating, comfortable, flattering, pretty on the lips, I think you'll really like this. It's not overly, you know, it's a tinted balm. It's not a super opaque lipstick, but I think this is beautiful. And I feel like the color is fairly unique. It's kind of a like a peachy coral sort of color. Really, really beautiful. I would probably pair this more with a lip liner just for a little bit more definition, but this is a throw it in your purse, really comfortable, flattering lip product. Feels like a balm. I'm a big fan of this. This is probably one of my favorite things in the box. Okay, so that's everything I got in my box. So I just added up the value and it's $151. So great value on the box. I would say my favorite products in here are these two products, the niacinamide and then the tinted balm. So overall, and I like this too. So overall, I think this is a fine box, but it's not my favorite one that I've ever gotten. But still, there are some standout things in here that I'm excited about. So if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link. But if you do, thank you so much. If you get BoxyCharm, I would love to know what you are excited to get or what you got in your box. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video.